<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Princes of the Apocalypse, Season 2, Episode, what is this, 5? Episode 5. Uh, last time on Princes of the Apocalypse, our party uh, made an arrangement with a mysterious shadow dragon uh, where they would head down into the Earth Node uh, to, to close the node, to close the portal to... Uh, to the plane of elemental earth. Uh, and they've made their way down through the temple, down through the fane, and into the node. And here, they have made it, they've decided to take a short rest, I believe, right before. I think at the end of last session, you guys took a short rest. Prepare, you set up a circle of protection, I believe, Pharaoh. Did we, I don't yep. think we actually did the effects of the rest, though. Yeah, you did. You did? I, I did. Scroll up, did you guys prefer. rolled lots of hit dice if you scroll up a little bit. I don't even know what scrolling means. Sure, whatever. I mean, I hold things. Magic yep. circle, which is that. Cool. So, uh, with that, uh, the dark lady, the dragon, turns to you guys and says, Are you ready? I think we can be ready now. I mean, wait, this is the point in the quest where we can say no, and then go and get better geared, and come back. I think the dragon's patience yeah. might not expand to go extend to going out and grinding for gear for about six months. Sure. <laughs> I, it's not a question I want to, you know, play with here. <laughs> yes, we're ready. Uh, you take All right. I suppose we're ready. And with that, she uh, let me let me show the full map here. We can zoom out a little bit. Uh, I've actually done it at five foot scale this time. This giant Johnson's. giant room. Uh, the node itself is right here on this, uh, up at this pedestal area. It's this giant rock. I showed you guys a picture last time, but I could probably find it again. Because it is a very cool picture. Ba -da -ba -da. Right about there. Oh, no, I just had it. There it is. Uh, this giant shifting and moving bit of rock. This, this oh, monolith. Oh, yeah. You showed here. it to us. It yeah. was scary. Looks like the oh, alien. Simmons, ship. watch out. Alien. And with that, uh, the dragon's gonna fly right up to that monolith and start circling around it, uh, and then her, uh, she turns and she points her mouth at it and breathes out, uh, this dark, shadowy breath into the sphere, and the whole cavern begins to rumble and shake. That just means it's working. And, uh, right then, let me grab these things. Uh, a few elementals begin to pour out. Oh shit. Da -da -dum. We'll start with just two, and I'll have everybody roll some initiative. We'll start with, he says. It's gonna be waves. This is like a tower defense game now, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, whoops. I forgot to bring the turn tracker up. All of my Chrome has broken. If somebody wants to roll, like, plus three or something for me, I can't remember what it is. Let me restart Chrome. <laughs> Alright. If anyone wants to roll a random number for Brennan. I want to roll a random number. Brennan, I got 20 for you. You're good. <laughs> there it is. God, I can never find anything. Tw return 20. Guaranteed random number chosen by random person. Um, I did it already. I did it, and it, like, changes... Like when I do the first roll, when I, I don't believe you, ever. it does. I swear. All right. Watch, Jake is gonna, gonna have not listened to you, and then he's gonna ask me about it again. Yeah, Lily, can't you just put your drop down? <laughs> All right, just waiting on Pharaoh there. All right. So no, it's twenty-four. He didn't actually roll a twenty. <laughs> you don't know. Bobby just selected twenty. <laughs> That was to be honest with you. Oh, He's like an arbitrary God. number rather than a random number. Which is the opposite mistake that people use. Dude, to make. I'm so repping the Raven Claw today. I've got a blue mug. My amazing Raven Claw shirt. Nice. And you should have told me we could have coordinated. I could have worn my. Those was a bunch of nerds, though. You got hella brains in your head. Uh, you guys, uh, remember in the future to click on your token before you roll initiative and it does magic. I don't even know what a token is. Hey, I did it and my drop down was set, so. My drop down wasn't set. Mine was set, and every time I set it, the first roll I do, it resets it. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. A likely story. 
I think it's because I set it and then open my character sheet. All right, so with that, these uh, you've seen these elementals before. They wear armor. You've seen them in air elemental form. This is the same sort of thing, but in earth elemental form. It's a that giant, really heavy set, you know, humanoid shape made of rocks with this thick, dark metal armor. Would you describe the rocks as razor sharp? Uh, would you describe yes. the armor as Daedric? I oh. would describe it as looking exactly like this picture. There's oh the <laughs> air one you saw before, and there is the earth one. So, <laughs> I like the air one much better. Air one's a little prettier, yeah. I just meant less scary looking because it's air. What were you going to say, of course? with him, you know? And, uh... Before we started this thing today, I was like, Jake, what if I talk my way out of it? And he's like... Hmm. I think that's gonna work. Is your charisma maxed? <laughs> yeah, I was like plus eighty charisma, totally. You know. The first thing you do is they head right up to you guys. The Bethesda approach. And uh, what uh, is this circle obvious, Pharaoh? Is there clearly like? It's um, I, I think that it like lets out light. Okay. Uh, cylinder of magical energy. Uh, Glowing runes appear whenever the cylinder intersects with the floor. So yeah, it's on the floor. It looks like it's drawn, like etched in, like magic-y blue shit. Gotcha. Whatever. Okay, so they, they're going to go right up near to the edge of it, uh, and they stop in wait with their giant rock hammers and their fists. It's more of a maul. It's, it's a rock shape. It's just rocks. It's you get hit with rocks. I, I like... Oh, wait, no, sorry. We're in initiative order. Yep. Koros. Oh, is it me first? Yeah, you're yeah. first. What well, honor. you and Pharaoh could, you guys can tie break however you please. That's how. So, so first of all, I don't like this this positioning. I'm gonna go there, <laughs> and I'm gonna blast the upper more one with my uh, my blasty. All right. This is the elder's kind stuff. Zoom back in a little bit here. Cool. Uh, a 12 is not going to cut it against these giant armored rock dudes. I figured it wouldn't, and there's a second one. Splashes blast against him, but the second one, you see, the first one splashes against him, and he leans into the next one, and then it, you know, <laughs> hits him hard. Go ahead and roll damage. Idiot. That's what he gets. 13, nice. How'd it come in? Uh, where's the button? Do-do-do. This is Guys, forced damage, not I'm forced so damage. for the eclipse because I really hate the sun. There's an eclipse? Are we going to invade the Fire Nation? Are you, wait, are you joking about the eclipse thing? I don't follow things. Oh, the eclipse, there's a really big eclipse happening on the 21st and it's like a big deal. It's the day of Black Sun, right? Yeah. We're invading the Fire sun. Nation. Yeah. Doesn't it go like across North America really nice? It's going to be like right over Wyoming and everybody's like going to Wyoming. It's a big deal. Which is weird, because usually no one wants to go to Wyoming. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry if anybody watching is from Wyoming, but... Oh yeah, I forgot we were streaming. <laughs> but, big deal. Jake, what did the uh, statistics say? Or is a big part of our viewership from Wyoming? It isn't anymore! <laughs> that's what it says! I have yeah, to right here. cuts in half this week, we know why. Hashtag <laughs> real stats from Wyoming. to Cheyenne. I just didn't know there was that many people in Wyoming. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna move oh, on no. before we alienate an entire state. Hey, but they have the best view of the eclipse. I, that's what I'm saying about them, and that's that's great. But actually, I want to move to Wyoming. So. All right, Pharaoh, your turn. All right, I'm going to uh, stand as middle as possible and send out little, uh, you know, wimpy. Sacred flame spells. Ah, take that stone! <laughs> ah, you showed that stone. Stone is not very good at dodging, I've heard. <laughs> uh, stone is not. Which one was that? The top or bottom one? That was the closest one. The closest one. Okay, it's the one on the top there. Cool. So that is ten radiant damage. Woo! Take that! You see little pebbles and stones falling off. It's as it explodes on him. Alright, Theo. So, I'm having trouble because I'm old. Mm -hmm. But, oh, these little bitty things are the things? You, you can zoom in and they're not so bitty. They still look bitty. 
It's probably because my beard is so big. Okay, I want to go... That's almost certainly it. To ...next to this one, but still inside the circle. Is that possible? It's not pinging. I don't know why. Click and hold. I did that, and it wasn't working. There, there you go. Because I had the pan tool. Ah. It should still work if you have the if pan. If you use your two-finger scroll, you can pan around without that. Nothing works. In any Everything direction. Works. I'm going to hit this one while standing in the thing. All right. So, like, I guess that. you got to be closer than that. you will be right there, yeah. Yeah, what, whatever. Moving the thing is, like, optional. All right, and I'm using my Warhammer so that it's bludgeoning damage, because it seems like it would work better. I feel like a sword is not great against rocks. All right, sounds good to me. Clever of you to just be randomly carrying a Warhammer in case you need it. I have a Warhammer, a great axe, hand axes, a spear, and a sword. It's, it's a good, like I wasn't being sarcastic, it's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> 23 will absolutely hit, that's 9 damage, you just, you take a big chunk off of him, and he, you know, some more rock from the ground. Crumble, crumble. Covers All right, up. second attack, second attack. All right. Oh, that's a crit. That's a one. Right. Damn. Dang, that is a lot of damage. Let me subtract all that. It is. That. I actually rolled well today. Guys, it's so exciting. The good rolls. Cool. Uh, and we'll move on to Aridin. Cool. I was going to do the same thing. Ooh, um, you should flank is there flank. space for me to stay within the circle and stand next to Theo? Right about and there. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure I can hit him for Wait, there. did you get advantage because of flankety flank? Uh, flanking requires I mean, you to be on the opposite you, side. I'm not really, I'm really on the opposite side. I want to stay in the circle. Alright, fine. I'm going to surprise everyone by smacking him with my sword. Oh! Stop the presses. And <laughs> everyone is further surprised that I missed. Yeah, both right. of your attacks are going to clang off of him. And right then, I'm going to remember that his ready to action was that when people get near him, he's going to punch. So he's going to punch each of you once. That's cool. incredibly rude. Oh, but if he misses, you, you can repost. I can. So the first one is going to go towards Theo. And that's well over 16, so that's going to hit for... Do, 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 do. Where'd it go? 11 damage right, on Theo. Fine. The next one is... Da, 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 not quite going to get past Aaron and shield. Put your shield up, he okay. hits the shield. So did we... Decide that a maneuver is a reaction. A, a a repost most certainly is a reaction. Anything you do not on your turn is a reaction. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use Sentinel instead, so I don't use a maneuver. Mm -hmm. Um, because he attacked my friend within five feet of me. Yes. Accurate. That so, happened. I was there. Yeah. Saw the whole thing. <laughs> so you felt it. I felt it right past me. I can react with a melee attack, and I can not hit him again. That's incredible. Do it. For those paying attention, I got a 2, 4, and a 2. Oh my god. See, all your dice rolls went so that I could get that one crit, and now the whole rest of the game, you and I are going to get 2s and 4s. I'm, I'm distracting him. I'm dancing around. He's looking at me. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Bouncing off. If the emos off, maneuver, you do nothing but look very active, and then somebody else gets hits. <laughs> right. All right, so to Pharaoh, just to confirm, what the magic circle means that elementals is the thing you chose, cannot enter the circle? Yeah, specifically elementals, not other, not other. Cool. Really. That was a very good call. So the, the punches <laughs> that are coming through and hitting you guys, this is because you're leaning out to fight. <coughs> you're, you're leaning out of the circle to fight and hit them, and he's, he's hitting you as you lean out. That's fine. I don't have any good range, so. you're, you're, you're jumping in and out of the circle. Yeah. Float like a butterfly, I sting like a bee. I wish we had a spear. Oh, I have one of those! <laughs> I have a spear? I don't know if it would work on rocks, I don't know what But I feel like it's just not going to be very great. It, would, it might not be very effective because they're rocks, but they wouldn't be able to hit you, because they can't come to the circle if you step back with the spear and use the reach. Well, I'll just wait till they hit me really hard, and then I'll use my spear. Uh, the dragon, over here, near the pedestal, is going to mm -hmm. swirl around it, you know, flying in circles. Let me, you know... It's going to... Oh, sorry, there's a disadvantage. Look at that. Wow, look, look at him go. <laughs> That was incredible. <laughs> uh, and I think it's got to recharge a few rounds before it can use its breath weapon again. So uh, it's, it's, it's just swirling around that uh, various like rock shapes and like like almost like tendrils of rock are reaching out and it's just clawing and knocking them back in towards the sphere as she swirls around it. 
So she's actually doing work and not just using us as bait. She is absolutely doing work. You guys right. are uh, distracting the things on the ground so she can focus on dealing with this, the note. Theo will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then this uh, Myrmidon right next to you is going to sidestep to make room for his other Myrmidon buddy. Oh, wait, he left my area! No, oh. he didn't. He's still absolutely in your area. God damn. But this other person entered my area! <laughs> <laughs> Freaking rude. Which is certainly rude of him, but... It is, thank you. I don't know why, but this many people can't move in my zone. <laughs> and they're each gonna make attacks against you, so the first one is gonna swing at Aridin twice. But we're inside the circle. You guys are... The, so... As said, should happen, things are happening at the same time. There's not actually okay. in real life. You don't stand there and wait your turn, right? Sorry, yeah. I just, maybe you don't. It doesn't. Yeah. Uh, the rules allow them to attack things in the circle, but they get disadvantage. Okay. okay. So they will have disadvantage on these attacks. Yeah, I just read that. <laughs> know <laughs> your spells. I knew it last week. All right. So so much to ask, Jake. Two disadvantage attacks on Aridin. See. Oh, that was a 19. The second one's a, uh, much less than that. Let me add things. Uh, but it adds up to 19. Damn. <sighs> and with this one, actually, as it hits you, it, there's this reverberation from its chest all the way down its arm and onto you, and there is some extra thunder damage against you. So in addition to the 11 bludgeoning damage from the hit, uh, you're going to get 16 blood, uh, thunder damage. <laughs> you got After this, we are definitely going in the circle. 20, really rude. 27 total damage, and I need you to make a strength saving throw. Oh my, I, don't, I don't like this guy. You should get in the circle. Yeah, fuck you. No problem, strength save, like you're, what was? You're, I'm you're a little like, bit stronger than him. Whoa, but you're not knocked over. Um, and don't forget to apply that. Yeah, I'm not. 27 damage. <laughs> Jake, you were making fun of me earlier that I had bad charisma. I have 15 charisma, I'll have you know. Oh, that's actually quite a bit of, more than I thought you had. I guess you are extremely attractive, so... See, I could have talked them out of attacking us. It's the beard. Huh. <laughs> Alright, the other one... Oh no, he's got a second attack here. No! <sighs> Bye, guys. But one of those rolls was a four, so that's not well, gonna happen. We know happen. how the dragon fight works out. Uh, Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Wait, he one, missed? The wait, second wait, attack. Wait, wait, he mi that guy missed, right? Yes, his second attack missed Aridin. Do you want to repost because after this you're going to come back into the circle? I do. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Hold on, battle side chat. <laughs> battle side chat. <laughs> no! Oh, two, four, a two, and a two. Consistent twos. <laughs> They don't call me number two for nothing. At least to pass the strength save. <laughs> I don't want to be called number two. That's creepy. I would be really disappointed if I failed my strength save. Especially because I can retake it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The second elemental is going to take its two swings at Theo, both with disadvantage. But that first roll of my two rolls was a three. The other one was a 19. Ugh. So that's going to miss. Second attack. That is that plus that. Math is not going to quite do it. I'm not even going to roll the second die because it'll be less. So, that is the elemental's turn. We're on to Koros. And neither of them look particularly beat up, right? Uh, the first one, the, the one that's higher up over here, uh, yeah, yeah. he looks like he's he's got a couple cracks and a few rocks have fallen off of him, but... Uh, not too bad. Not too shabby. All right. Let's uh, let's just give him the business for now. I agree. Cool. That'll hit. Damn. That'll also hit. Roll damage on both of those. Nice. Twenty-four damage. I'll take it. Also, out of curiosity, because it might come up later, what did like the ambient light conditions in this cavern? Ah, oh, yeah. Uh. There's those glowing crystals throughout, so it's low light. It's not like bright or anything. You're definitely underground. It's dark, but uh, these glowing crystals are illuminating everything, so you can see around the room. 
Uh, perhaps, you know, sort of behind those pillars, it might be a bit shadier. Um, okay. Because the, the most of the crystals are towards the center of the cavern ceiling. Um, the right. node itself also glows. There's just okay. strange light emanating from it. So at that monolith in the center, it's, it's where the brightest point is. Okay. Good job. All right. Pharaoh. Dunkirk soundtrack for this. Um, I am going to continue the Sisimus. Uh, that, that this one, this top one. Top one? All right. Uh, that is a net one, so he's absolutely going to fail. Nice. Uh, and because he even net one, they'll let you roll an extra D8 on there. Oh, nice. Awesome. Do it. Three, one. 19 to 19, nice. Give him the Explodes on him, bits of rock flying left and right. <laughs> he's getting smaller and smaller as as he goes on. He's, he's we really whittle cool. pieces of him off. Exactly. Really can't be a bit of a tiny evolution in Dota. He's just getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, reverse tiny. <laughs> All right, Theo. Okay. I'm going to say, brother, get back and still stay out and lean out and hit this guy, which is a terrible decision. But are you going to cover my escape? Is that what you're doing? Basically. Jake. Yeah, that'll hit. Nice. This is you doing it this the, at the up, upper guy or the lower guy? Sorry, I missed that. The who was the one that last hit Theo? Uh, you are Theo. I mean, the last hit Aridin. Uh the, the upper one, the one that was next to him. Yeah, then that's the one I hit. Okay. Alright. 13 doesn't take him down? Not quite. God, he's such a bitch. Alright, you knock some rocks off of me. It looks like one more good hit might crack him in two. But it's just not quite enough. He's, okay. he's barely holding together. And then... mm -hmm. I get... I have Action Surge. You do have that, but do you want to save that for when everything goes to hell? Hmm. Do I? This is the first wave. <laughs> Jake is making a face, which makes me think you're correct. Uh, okay, so I'll do that, and then step back. So the bottom one gets an opportunity attack, I guess? Uh, yes, the bottom one gets a opportunity attack. At but the top one, does too. They actually advantage. both get opportunity attacks. Well, they suck, and they have disadvantage. That is true. And that is just not quite going to hit you for the first guy, and let's do the second one. Also just not quite going to hit you. They, Bitch, flail, don't me. they swing and flail, and you just duck one, jump back from the other. It's the endless technique. It worked, Alex. You saved me. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Uh, moving on to Aridin. Okay. God, I really want to kill this guy. Don't do it. I, I can hit him and then move away. Jake, the one that's dead, can you put an X over him or something or move him? Not, he's not dead. Not dead. That's what I'm saying, I want to kill him. You he's said one coming. of them I took out. No, you all no, very all nearly, he's just still holding together. Those are the words I said. Yeah, that's who I want to, that's who I want to beat to death real quick. Alright, go to it. Finally! There you go. <laughs> oh. And that, with that, that's you find, you hit right in the crack, your sword, just goes right between the, the two bits of rock and just cleaves him in two. You break him apart. Dead. Is that the top guy or the bottom guy? That's the top guy. Alright. Uh, that guy then, sucks. And we can show that real quick on the map. My second attack on the bottom guy. And then I'm gonna run away. You just swing <laughs> right off of him and yeah. uh, he can't take an opportunity attack because he already used his reaction to try and attack Theo. Had your back. <laughs> All right, the the dark lady is going to continue to swirl around this thing. You see uh, some rumblings as she she claws back into it, and then there's a rumbling down into the ground from underneath. Uh, Would you say it's reminiscent of when we were at that Earth Temple and the acolytes were like earth bending? Uh, I'm, I'm not remembering the specific scenario you're describing there. A Sacred Stone Monastery? 
At Sacred Monastery at the time when we tried to sneak in and then we didn't actually sneak in and there was all the rumbling, rumbling in and because it was the, all the acolytes and the little lessons were offending and they were like, wah, wah, and like... No, this rumbling is deeper and lower than that. That was just like the sounds of rocks moving around when they were doing the little earth bending thing. This is like something is underground. Is it my friend? The pilot? <laughs> they come back to help us. I don't want him to come back. He was oh. great. It might be. Jake is now looking at it, Alex. Great. Good job. No, that's actually that's not what I was doing. I saw him flipping! He's flipping for the bullet. Look at that all. You can't trust the DM that's flipping through pages. Uh, you really can't. It means all sorts of ah, horrendous things. Do, do, do. All right, we're good. Um, Yay. We move on to the elemental. The Sarlacc pit didn't open beneath us. And the elemental he leans forward and he can't enter the circle. Uh, and so we'll move on to Koros' turn. Woo! Well, nice circle of protection. I, I know what to do when someone can't come near me, and it's blast them from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Elemental. Is what you get. Every oh. turn when you guys look towards me and I just like send a cantrip, I'm just like, I think I've done Both it. Both of those hit, correct? <laughs> Both of those hit, absolutely. You're doing great. Everybody's proud of you. 21 damage. Damn. Yeah, no, like, are there any weaknesses in this circle of yours, or are they just stuck? It only lasts like eight hours or something. Maybe oh, that all. <laughs> <laughs> only yeah. eight hours. It might be one hour. I can't remember one sec. It's just one That's hour. That's equivalent of eight hours. It's fine. It's one hour. Yeah, it's one hour. Not one hour probably. That's so thing. long. It's fine. Yeah, it's pretty long. Willingly enter the circle by non-magical means. They must use teleportation and succeed on the Christmas throw. Creature has disadvantage of attack rolls against targets within the cylinder. Targets in the cylinder can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by the creature. Jake. Mm -hmm. No your spells. I don't need to check that. I don't have any spells. I'm a DM. I just <laughs> saying, if I want magic, I don't have to follow rules on a card. I just sort of decide what I want the magic to do when it does it. Sounds like a pretty sweet. My people. God, he's terrifying. <laughs> I am a god. No, all right. So, uh. Pharaoh. Um, I am going to. Wait, didn't I just go? Did we really get through everybody? You didn't yep. just go. Eldritch Blast just happened. Oh, we were just talking about him, that's why. We were talking about you, but it wasn't your the turn. The bottom one. No, 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 yeah, he was talking about you. All right, here comes the dexterity saving throw, and it's a failure. Dude, I'm just, like, like flicking my wrists and, like, snapping. I'm like, I don't know why this is so effective! <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, let me apply that. What is that? 18 damage that explodes on him. All right, deal. Okay. I'm gonna not go out of the circle because it's scurry. So I have a spear. I'm gonna throw it at that guy. All right. Are you gonna throw it, or are you just gonna stab him with dis from a distance? Apparently, he's gonna it. throw it, and it did terribly. You throw uh, it, and he just knocks it aside. Your spear's way over there now. <laughs> well. Um, hey Theo, you know yeah. you have a limited number of ranged weapons, right? Yeah, shut up. I'm gonna uh, <laughs> use Rally as my bonus action to grant temporary HP to, um, you know, who? My brother. Yourself? Eric. Oh, me? So, do you. I'm gonna be like, don't worry. You're like, oh, you have only a limited number of blood. I'm like, don't worry. It's cool. Like, we got this. It's like such a tiny little elemental. It's not even a big deal. I have HP. Yay. Five whole HP. All right, Aridan. That's, that's enough. I'd say. like to use my numerous arrows that I have and not just hurl my bow at the enemy. <laughs> hey, I don't have a bow. I don't have a bow, okay? And I would like to shoot him. Ciao. All right. Uh, but, uh, 22 absolutely hits for that or piercing damage, you see that the arrow doesn't look like it really pierces the rock. It sort of cracks when it hits. It did some damage, but not very much. I like it. All it's right. better than my first four attempts. And I believe you have two attacks. Can I yep. use a longbow twice? Yep. Oh, cool. 
but that 16 is not going to hit. It's going to just... This one really just snaps against a piece of the armor. Doesn't even scratch him. And, and The Last of Us, the first one didn't break. There's some I insufficient Legolasery right here. Dude, I won the uh, archery tournament. Yeah, she did. It was amazing. And just then that rumbling continues. Nothing too bad's gonna happen. Rumble, rumble, rumble. And bursting up out of the ground on three sides. Oh my god, are those three bulettes? Are three bulettes. <laughs> Is one Those of them the bulette from earlier? None of them are the bulette from earlier. Okay, that's just really disappointing in every way. And actually, I wanted it to be a so story about the bulette getting its friends to come meet us. <laughs> to kill us? <laughs> to do no, something. Cool about it. And actually, one of them, as it bursts out of the ground, is going to leap up into the air and crash down on top of you guys. Nice. Do, 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 do. I feel like that rally was preemptive. I need a strength or dexterity saving throw from each of you, except for Koros. Nice. Uh, your choice, strength or dexterity saving throw. Hey. So strong. You're fine. Hey. You're fine. Pharaoh. Uh, strength or dexterity, your choice. Yeah. You are going to take uh, 14 bludgeoning damage and 14 slashing damage. The bludgeoning from the squishing and the like slashing from the claws. And you are knocked prone. That's not an elemental. Kabam! <laughs> the two of you, uh, Theo and Aridin, you guys will only take half of that. So seven bludgeoning and seven slashing. It's incredibly rude. And I find it offensive. And you guys are pushed five feet away. So let me slide this bullet out. Uh, oh no, the circle! What? Now he's protected or we're not! Wait, Theo, does it consume us all? There we go. Pharaoh, you're on the ground underneath the bullet. Wind knocked out. All right. You're basically Gimli under the ward. At least I have two. The other Bulettes are then going to attack Theo and Aridin now that they're closer. Alex, right, so remember that time you were like, oh, it's probably going to be us that dies? Yeah. You're right. Ooh, hold on. You're right. That's all I just... I want you to know that I've been thinking about it a lot, and you're right. I would like to speak Bulettish and <laughs> tell them of my friend Grant. <laughs> Grant the Mole? <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't think either of you speak Terran. Besides, I don't think the Bulettes speak Terran either. Well, we, we spoke Dwarvish and it kind of worked <laughs> last time. Alright, uh... It's like speaking Italian to someone in France. One is going to try and bite at Aridin. Uh, uh, Aridin, you get your shield up just in time. That means they're rolled an 18. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Theo... Not so much. That you turn up and oh, big old chunk of bite against you. Uh, this is like RUS is in the fire swamp, guys. My shoulder's that... gonna be all nasty and caked and scab now. Was that attack against Theo within five feet of me? No, if you so, I can pull up the map real quick. Uh, you guys were pushed apart by okay. the landing of the Bulette. That's also rude. The, the like gets to pick which spaces you guys move to. Uh, Theo, you're gonna take 15 damage from the Bulette Bite. Mm -hmm. I'm being whittled down quite quickly. Does the dragon at least appear to be kicking ass? The dragon? Yes. The dragon looks really badass, swirling around. These rocks are like 18 more laps. Reaching out. Uh, yeah, 18 more laps. Well, that's next turn. Hold on. Okay. She. Once you draw 18 complete circles. Have any of these Bulettes cast spells near me? Because I have a thing for that. <laughs> Bulettes, unfortunately, are really? not spellcasters. Think that happened. Huh? Oh my god. There she goes. She goes flying around. <laughs> trying to create like a hurricane in the opposite direction, like the flash. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she's still going! <laughs> <laughs> she's doing so well. 
she's the, the rock formations are clearly trying to like reach out and grab her and pull her in, and she's you know diving up and down and dodging them and breaking up off pieces of rock from this thing. And being like, "Nah, I'm a dragon. Get with me." Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and actually, next time we should be dragons. Dude, Game of Thrones though. Damn. There was indeed a dragon in Game of Thrones, if I recall correctly. There was a fucking napalm strike in Game of Thrones. <laughs> I don't know things. The dragon is also going to roar quite loudly in the direction of the violettes. She's trying to help you guys out a bit. Uh, and they now need to make some saves or be scared of the dragon. Uh, failure. That's a failure. That's a failure. Three failures in a row. Dang. Um, the violettes are now going to have disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, because they're now they're now a bit more timid. They're a bit less sure. Um, so I'll do. They will both. They have disadvantage on their attacks, and you guys have advantage to hit them. Cool. Nice. Violettes incredibly susceptible to low morale. Right. Uh, Any, anyone can get scared. This this one remaining elemental who's still there is going to take swings at Theo. Sucks. Though. Yeah, and he's still doing this at disadvantage because you're in the circle. And, uh... He... Yeah, the one attack is going to just hit. No. Uh, no, you don't even know what math is. Stop. It was 11 damage. No. <laughs> Jake. Not. Dude, at least that thunder hasn't caught you yet. Jeez. Dude, I'm still feeling pretty bad. I miss Vanilla, and we could just throw her in front of us. True. Uh, Lily. Yeah. Have you been adding your con to your hit points as you level up? I don't know why. Let me just check your sheet real quick. Because you have higher con than Aridin, but I'm seeing that you have lower total hit points. I think it's because I choose to roll every time instead of taking the average, and I always get like a two. Okay. We'll talk later. I rolled real shitty. I think if you always get it to you, you should point that out to Jake and he'll give you extra points. <laughs> I'm not trying to cheat the system. Just trying to be honest. Do you really have that much lower health than me? Y yeah. Weird. Uh, Maybe I haven't been adding it. Yeah, I think you haven't add been adding it. So we're gonna... add all of the con or just the con bonus? Your con bonus con every time you level up. And when your con goes up, it, it works retroactively. <laughs> I'm gonna do some math in a bit. We're gonna. We're I gonna... think you definitely didn't do the retroactive part. Yeah. I don't think I did either. I'm gonna do some math. You should be impossible to kill. Like we're, we're gonna. Yeah, I was. That's why I was confused because I was. I'm looking at health bars and I was like, wait a minute. Uh, I'm gonna do some math while Koros does his turn. Okay. All right. Um. You let like all up in our dicks. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's where he is. That's an accurate description. Like, of the situation Get right now. Like, that's entirely more Bulet than I want. Um, also true. I'm, I'm going to blast Tim. Do we have advantage on them? Yes. Alright. Eat, eat force, Bulet. <laughs> Alex and Lily, what's the fighter hit die? Ten? A D uh, a lot. D Probably a ten, right? Yeah, I think it's yeah, ten. I think it's ten. ten. Yeah. Uh, what did you get? A 17? You're doing this at the Bulette? Yeah. Yeah, the one that's like on top of our Pharaoh. Of Thank you. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -bum. That 17 is just gonna hit the 28 absolute. Right. Alright, you get to eat force. <laughs> 20. Like, like you do. Unlimited. Alright, 20 to be led on top of Pharaoh. And my bookmark just flew away because it's windy in here. Bam, alright. Uh, hold on one second. Whose turn is it, though? Otis Pharaoh. Can Pharaoh... Wait, can Pharaoh go? 
It's not Quarles's? Uh, Quarles just what? finished. It is he now did Pharaoh's his turn. Blast and he got 20 off on the bullet on top of you, which is good. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry. You that's probably have to spend your turn standing up. Yeah, I have to stand up. Is that my action? Standing up. Or is that move? Uh, you can. You, you have to move to stand up. Yeah. All right, because I'm you're on up. the ground and underneath this bullet. Sounds good. Can I also can I prepare an action and use a bonus action? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cast a bonus action. You also can't um, stand right there, so you gotta step out from under the bullet as you, you crawl out and climb up. <laughs> oh, 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 slide out from the car. <laughs> I'm going to uh, spiritual weapon and put it on the other side of the bullet so that it loses its attention from me. Let and that me, thing's uh, gonna try to whack at it. Let me give you a token for that. Just a minute. Thank you. I'm gonna use this. Where'd it go? There's a cool looking one. Sure. This and did you say we have advantage against these guys? Uh, yes, you have advantage against the bullets because they are now stupid. All right. Does 22 hit? 22 absolutely hits. All right. 10 damage to the bullet, and that's my bonus action. And then I'm going to prepare an action to. Uh, I know a lot of my team is kind of hurt, so I'm going to prepare an action to healing word anybody if they. Uh, as a reaction, they, they get hurt. Okay. Or if they, like, fall, sorry. Right, if we fall down. Alright, If you will. Not moving. Well, the situation has changed, and there is a bullet in my grill, in the circle. So it is now time for the Great Axe. With advantage. Shunk. Nice. Oh! Oh, this could be so good. Damn. 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 Great axe. Look at these rolls. Nice. Is All that right. on the bullet you're facing or the bullet in the middle? The one in the middle. All right. Well, I'm not facing any direction according to the map. Sorry. You know the one mean? that was biting at you a minute ago. Well, I'm mad at the one for hurting Pharaoh. All right. Excellent job. All right. And then I'm going to hit it again. Cool. Oh, slightly less good. Okay. Wow, this is still the one in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's a lot worse. Okay. Lily, your experience is what the rappers talk about, I'm pretty sure. With what? Look at all these rolls. Damn. That's hella money. <laughs> hella money. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm very tempted right now to use second win. <laughs> Oh, I, Jake, I have... I know left. what you have. I can see your sheet. Oh, uh, okay. Do that. Do you want me to change it to that? Yes, and remember that when it increases, your, your current and your max go up. <laughs> was it way too low? It was a lot too low. It was a lot too low. Wait, shit. Okay. Ah, uh, no, no, I have to do math. Hang All right, on. I'll do the math for you. I'll do it. No, 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 no. I can do it. I can do it. Shut up. Five and ten and three... <laughs> Is 18 and 18 plus that is this just add, and this. Add Lily. Got it. Yeah, done. There no, you go. I did math and it was beautiful and it's done. <laughs> Theo was suddenly uh, looking much better than you thought. Not oh. much better. I'm still. Okay. I just realized my constitution is much stronger than I realized. <laughs> yeah. 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 Feeling great. Okay, so. All in your head. Instead of second winding, uh. Is hmm, is this other bullet like on the other side of me? Yeah, there's a you have a bullet on each side and an oh, elemental can, next to you. You're I surrounding. It. I can sweeping attack it. All right, let's see. The twenty-seven hit that. Uh, the other bullet. Yes, yeah. twenty-seven. Yes. And then I the damage is just the superiority die, so it's just four. So I only have two left, but you know. Cool. And remember, if any of these bullets cast spells, you have to let me know immediately. Uh, if a bullet casts a spell, you will be the first to know. Alright, good. <laughs> that includes if one of them is not really a bullet right now. <laughs> See? It's secretly a dragon! <laughs> what could go wrong? It's a werebore! It's a window! Chop its head off! <laughs> any of those things to kill it's us. It's a gazebo! Alright. <laughs> Shoot an arrow at it. Aradin. I have a question about the bullets that we're fighting. 
Do they have saddles? <laughs> these ones do not. You'd have Damn to ride it. this bulette bareback. Wait, would you describe these bulettes as feral? They still have those, like, handles, though, right? The ste- no, no steering handles. Nothing? Nothing. They're just bulettes. Bareback. Go for oh, it. Bareback. Bare me. Bareback. Do it. I don't know the anatomy of a bulette very well. Are they, like, do they have, like, ears that I could grab? Like, scruffs, kind of? Uh, so, the, the picture on the... With, theoretically? The picture on the map there, actually, is, is pretty accurate to their shape. They're kind of rhinoceros-ish. But, uh, let me hide that and actually also show you this bulette picture. Okay. Oh, boy. It doesn't look very... It's like, you see, the, the behind no. this second, like, bit, that's where you hid last time. You were underneath that. Uh-huh. When it was burrowing. Uh-huh. Okay. No, All right. I'm, I'm changing my mind. <laughs> I'm not going to attempt. That was to way too graphic. Again. Dig, we need a warning on this video. Graphic content of Bulette. Bulette? Um, more Bulette than I ever need to see. Yeah, thing's nasty looking. It is. I didn't ah. realize. I thought it had fur. I thought it was like a mole. So I'll attack this one. This top one. Wait, the one in the circle or no? No, the top, top one. Oh, Alright. Okay. Yeah, I got it, got it, got it. Boink. Alright, yeah, that'll hit. 12 and damage. And nice. Hey! But you have advantage, right? Oh, yes, do you do. Oh, all, well, against all good. the bullets. Okay. Oh, yeah, so that's your second roll for the first one, maybe. <laughs> you call it that, and then you can roll one more time. This one. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Right, nice. so you get the one hit off. And now it is the Bulette's turns again, actually. Look at that. So the Fist one two. the one Bulette at the top, actually, is going to burrow away. Yeah, that's right. So that one, that, one. that top Bulette is now gone. You start it. Uh, the middle Bulette, uh, however, is going to turn around at Koros. This is not nice. Take a big old bite. Alright, I'm gonna use my Entropic Ward, she has disadvantage. He already had disadvantage. Oh, you're right, never mind. I'm oh, the it. second roll is a two! Your AC is higher than nine. It is. Not by much, but it is. <laughs> Alright, so that one is gonna miss the no team. Bulette next to Theo. I'm trying to make another bite on Theo. But with that disadvantage. Ah, oh, three! Your AC is indeed higher than ten, so... The bullet, it's it timid, you it, you see it going in for the bite, and you, you know, bear up your, your hammer at it, and it, it flinches and doesn't go for the attack. No, I have the great axe out now. Ah, the great axe. Jake, I don't know why, but I've been picking up on this kind of inflection in your voice that you want us to get hit. I don't know you what you're You seem a little about. disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I, I absolutely do not want you guys to ever be hit by anyone and never take any damage. Yeah, that's what I thought, weird. but... Weird. That's why he sends such easy challenges at us, such as three bullets. <laughs> like a dick. At least the dragon's on our side right now. <laughs> yeah. Just wait till it gets mind controlled. All right, and and you guys know what the dragon does on her turn. Fly in a circle. Spin attack. No, us. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I'm watching Pokemon. Yeah, this is when um Charizard uses seismic toss. <laughs> just spins around 30 times. Sean All right. walks up and gets a chair. This elemental right, is still right. here. He's going to take his disadvantage attacks against Theo. There's a nat 1 and a 2 on his first roll. Oh, these rolls look better. Oh, these rolls are much better. I mean, oh, these rolls are so much better. Oh. Go to nat 1. Can't he fall on his ass? No, uh, the second one's going to hit. That is 11 damage against you, Theo. Uh, but then he turns, and he actually notices that Aridin is outside of the magic circle there. Dun dun dun! And he's gonna, I don't need no circle. He's gonna come at me. Take that side step yeah. towards that's Aridin. Fine. That's fine. That's... bring it. I'm afraid of no ghost. Alright, Koros. Hmm... Wait, did it leave where I was? It's still in your threatened area. Take a look at the oh! map. I mean, there's still a bulette, like, chomping on my leg right now, so... I guess. 
I feel like until that guy's gone, we're going to stick with the classic standby of Eldritch Blast with advantage. With a crit. Oh! oh click that one right there. Don't roll again. You always roll. Yep. Crit. Bam! 20 damage right off the bat. Is he still up? He's still up, but if you could do that again, he would not be. Then the second one's going to attack him as well. Nice. Ew. Not quite enough damage to finish him off, but this Bulette is not looking good. Die, you stupid digging rhinoceros. <laughs> Pharaoh. All right. Um, I am going to... Well, first of all, my little yeah, stab is going to stack stab over there. here. Oh. And that's on, on this guy still. Yep. That'll absolutely hit. Seven. Nice. Um... That'll and then... not quite do it. Just a little, no! little bit more. Why? Like this much more. I want this guy Good. out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going you to... Did your healing word? Did you I ready didn't that? use it. Oh, okay. It was prepared, yeah, last turn. But no okay. more. Um, I'm also going to cast Spirit Guardians. Ooh. Um, which is That's going to... Like, I'm going to smack my staff down and a bunch of little light orbs are going to suddenly like shine... <laughs> Fly up. All space of those who met before. Take our hands and lead us. So who has to take the saves? Um, I believe that I can designate six targets, so like us and the dragon. And those guys are protected, and okay. then all of them go to take the save because it's like a fifteen foot radius. Okay, so both Bulets and the Elemental. Yeah. Alright. Let's start with the Bu let's start with the far Bulet. That's a failed wisdom save. That's nine radiant damage from the spoopy, or sorry, spoopy damage. Spoopy damage, yeah. Uh, let's check out that elemental now. Uh, that is, let me double check his wisdom. Nope, yep, that is also a failure. So also nine damage. And last but not least, can you do it? The Bulette fails, takes the damage. Oh my oh. god! This is fast, Jake! What and you have defeated the roulette right in the center. It slumps over. Put an X on it. In fear. I did. You already did. It's right there. Oh, Big ol' X right in the middle. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a good X, too. That was a good We, we should remember that there's one still, like, underground somewhere. Yeah. I, like, stumble back and just fall. that one's like, dark. Oh. Don't worry. Uh, it looks like there's electrons falling into the ground. And that's all I do. Cool. Jake. <laughs> The fear doesn't last forever. I was like, tell that to my therapist. <laughs> That's what the Bulet says. It never wants to come back. Alright, Theo. It was a little real. Is he has PTSD. Bulet, like, on his back in the therapist chair. That Bulet has PTSD from you. You're the one that scared it away. Theo, right. it's your turn. I'm, I'm hitting it in the face. This Bulet. Sorry, I'm pinging it. Alright. The only remaining above ground bulette. <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, ten, ten. ten will not hit. That sucks so much. Neither ten will hit, but you can make your second attack. Twenty-three absolutely will hit. For sixteen slashing damage. Fantastic. Alright. Um the question is. Wait. Oh wait! I rolled a one or a two. On the is that the ten is? Yes. Ha ha. You can re-roll that? Yes. Do it. <laughs> I just did a normal. <laughs> now it's a three. Wait, I did a normal. Should I have done advantage or no? Uh well you would have been able to re-roll both of them, right? So roll another normal now. Okay. Hey! Okay, that was worth it. Critical. Good that I checked my abilities. Yes. I was like reading through, I was like, what can I do? It's nice to know what your abilities do. It, it, it's kind know of- Know your yeah. spells, know your abilities. Hey, there's a lot of abilities. 19 damage on the Bulet. Fantastic, that Bulet is looking quite bloodied. I don't know what that means, but okay. It means half of their hit points. Oh god, that's so useless. It's a fourth edition thing. Um... Yeah. That's, that's what I do. Alright. Aaron. Yay! I would like to um, sidestep and rotate into the circle, if I may. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'd like to take my spear and jab outside of the circle at this ugly Cool. If you even wanted, you could sidestep uh, to here. Oh, well, let me move the goulette to the back. You could sidestep to still... there, and because your spear has reach, you would be able to hit the Oh, great. Dude. Uh, and do I have advantage on this? Uh, yeah. Hey. Or, sorry. Uh, this is no. the... You don't have adva advantage on the um, elementals. It was just the bullets, but it doesn't matter. I'll okay. use your first well, roll. Well, those will be my anyway. two attacks. Those will be my two attacks. Okay, so one hits, one misses. Great. Okay. Excellent. And now he can't hit you back. <clears throat> ha! Ha! Bam. <laughs> All right. Has any of the bullets cast spells? None of the bullets have cast spells. However... I don't think it's gonna happen, Lily. One can dream, right? Yeah, if they do, I get a lot of bonuses. Uh, on the far side of the circle, if you let that went under, pops up yeah, again. Deserve. And, from behind you guys, more rumbling, as another bullet pops up. Why is it all bullets? Go away! However, the circle. <laughs> cut off one bullet, two more shall take its place. Clearly. Uh, Aridin, this bullet over here. Mm -hmm. Does he have a saddle? Quite familiar. There's a saddle and some reins. He and he brought his friends! <laughs> <laughs> you will be mine. And uh, the bullet in front of Theo is going to try and make a bite. He's got disadvantage. Uh, I gotta look at Theo's AC to confirm. Let's get a miss. Bam. Right on the edge there. Uh, the other one uh, is gonna take a bite at Koros, the one Rude. with the saddle. So this one was not roared, right? No. Then I want to use my entropic ward on this one to give it disadvantage. Yes. All right. You're still gonna get hit, unfortunately. Rude. For uh, 15 damage. It's a rather large amount of damage. It is a rather right. large amount of damage. However, right at that moment, uh, the dragon lady, she seems to have subdued the column quite a bit. It seems to be moving more slowly as she, wait, as she uh, swirls around it. Here she goes. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Where she stops, nobody and actually, she's going to swoop away from the column for a moment um, towards that one bullet and pick it up and fly past. Uh, and she's now holding this bullet. I'm going to drop it. In the air. It's hurt a lot. Yeah, she oh, picked it up shit. and flew past it in the air. Nice. Very kind of her. She's over there with that bullet. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So when it falls, it's going to splash, right? Yeah. Yeah. It weighs a lot. It weighs a lot. The what? Uh, the elemental is still standing here. So he's gonna sidestep back and punch at Theo. Disadvantage. So here's the first one. Absolutely gonna miss. Here's the second one. Also gonna miss. He's just swinging and, and it's right as his arm is going real fast and then it hits the edge of the magic circle and slows down and you're just like, <laughs> come at me. Water's it's getting really dark in here. Let me turn the light on. <sighs> All right, Koros. Um, all right. I am going to cast banishment on on the elemental. Ah. And one of the bullets, because I'm casting with a fifth level spell slot, so it affects two things. The one by Theo? Uh, yes. Cool. They both need to make DC 18 charisma saves. DC 18 charisma saves? Yes. Well, the bullet has minus three charisma, so I think you're good on that one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the elemental, uh, what'd you say, DC 15? 18. 18. Oh yeah, absolutely fails. They both fail. Okay. So they are both gone. Um, the elemental, I assume, is not native to this plane, right? Uh, no. Uh, neither the elemental nor the bullet were native to the plane. Okay. So if it, if it lasts the full minute of concentration, then they don't come back. Um, otherwise, they come back. When you, if, you, if you break concentration in the next I break concentration, basically. Yeah. Alright, so they vanish. 
And then, now that there's no one over there, I'm going to, like, take cover over here with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> climb fact, over that, climb around that bullet body. you say we are in an area of dim light, or that I could get to an area of dim light? You are in an area of dim light. The only dimmer areas would be back, uh, sort of, by, behind these okay. columns. Okay. Alright, Pharaoh. That's my turn. It doesn't matter right. for this turn. So I was, I was tracking this guy when he came out of the the ground was, uh, he entered my little zone, so he has to make a save. Okay. Wisdom save. Wisdom save coming out. You know how much wisdom they have. That is a failure. You know how much charisma All right. they have. Oh yeah, that's right. 38. That's gonna be 15 damage. Nice. Spooky damage. In addition, the, uh, staff is gonna go out to that one and smack him. Whoosh! Kerbang. Oh, wait, what's this? I moved the staff uh, for you. Thank you. Oh, 21? Yep. Horsa! Yep. Uh, nice. And then it's back to some sacred flame. <laughs> A good old classic. Everyone misses. No, I roll higher every time. <laughs> Here comes the deck save. It's a failure. Nice. <laughs> For 19 damage, your this bullet is getting real low. He just got <laughs> rinsed. I mean, he was already starting kind of low because you guys fought him earlier, so... True. Well, we made him our friend. You guys are killing your friend. It's not very nice. I don't know it's our friend. You're the one who made him our friend. Alright, deal. Right. It's time. It's season three. It's time for War to Die. It's time for War to Die. It's season three. Um. Spoilers. Rosie, don't watch. Rosie does not watch our stream. How much wait? Can you put a thing over where I was? Sorry, and do a thing. What are you, are you trying to measure your distance? Yeah, I don't know how to do that. It's not important. But sure. I want to be next to it, like. You can absolutely preferably, reach. Preferably like here. I need a ping. She pinged. She pinged I didn't you. see a ping. Oh, there we go. Uh, you can't quite get behind it. The best you could get would be in the left like corner here? or. Are you in here. Uh, you can see my ruler, can't you? Yeah, I can, but I'm pinging there? on the. Or left of it. there. Yeah. Not there. Yeah. Here. Sure. Alright. Uh, because I want to be flanking it, if possible. I'm going to move you there. Let me, uh, show the camera. You're on that side. Uh, you're not flanking it there, though, in the other position, I said, which was here, you would be flanking it because of the magic stick. Alright, whatever. That makes no sense to me. They're identical, but it's okay. Um, stick. You have to be able to draw a line from you to the other, com to the other person through the enemy, through the, through the Oh, I'm flanking with the stick. Yes. That's dumb. It's a okay, it's flying magical stick. It can threat. All right. Great axe on the bullet. All right. You got advantage. Wait, this is the only thing I can hit, right? Right this second? Yeah. Unless you want to throw your axe at the one that's being carried by a dragon. Yeah, okay. I didn't want to hit it originally because I had the thing, and I was like, oh, wow, I could ride it. But, um... Nah, fuck it. Not my friend. I brought it back so you could write it if you wanted. But... Yeah, but he's the only one left, so. Yep. And that Gotta seven go. damage is gonna be just enough. No! Let me hit it again! <laughs> See, so much damage. That I overkill hit it so damage. Much. I so much hit it. Finished off that bullet. Erden. Uh. Good job, team! <laughs> Woo! Hot of time! Really inspirational. Um, what's the bullet that's being Magic Carpet Rider doing right now? Yeah, what's the deal with that? You'll see on the Dragon Lady's turn. It's, it's flailing well, a bit, I'm but... Fine, obviously. Cool, I'll delay till after Dragon Lady then. Alright. Delayed till after Dragon Lady. The bullet's gonna flail around a bit. Dragon Lady just throws it from high up against this pillar. It hits the pillar. It flops to the ground. It splats. Oh. It is Man, that was dead brutal. That's vicious. And with that, the Dragon Lady's gonna turn and fly right back towards the column. Uh, and as she approaches it, she's gonna do that shadow breath again right at the column. And the column's gonna start to crack and fall apart. However, as she does it, out of the column forms a giant, you might even call it huge, earth elemental. Let me bring it to the token layer for you all to see it. 
Oh my Maybe god. I should have saved the banish for this An guy. Enormous elemental. I indeed should have. <laughs> and you hear him say, I am Olgrimok. Who disturbs my node? It is I, Aladdin. <laughs> that's, really, that's totally how I feel. Uh, and let me put him on the initiative tracker. Right. Do, do, do. Let me drop the buettes because they're all dead or banished. For now. For now. Uh, and sorry, Aridan, you delayed till right after the lady, so it is actually your turn. <laughs> right as this giant thing has appeared. I don't really know how to react. Uh, I guess I'll shoot my bow at it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll, it's literally going to make you feel so much worse. It's going to go. I know. Um, it's, probably gonna, it's probably gonna, like, incinerate before it even gets there. Yeah, he probably has, like, flaming aura surrounding himself. Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, do I hit the dragon? What's important is to try. You absolutely hit the dragon. <laughs> I'm sorry! And she growls at you. Whoops. Okay. I'd like to use um, second wind to bring some health back for me. <laughs> I literally glare at you so hard. I'm like, is that one a friend? Maleficent over here, just like. Yeah. Jeez. Whoops. Don't shoot, don't shoot our dragon. The only one we have. It's not like we can just go get another one. <laughs> all right. Yeah, let me get all my character sheets up and ready. All your sheets up and ready? Yeah, I mean this guy and the dragon. All up in this sheet. Yeah, all right. And now <laughs> it is the turn of the giant Ogremok. elemental, Ogremok. I'm not looking forward to this somehow. I don't know. Mm, let's see. What's he got? Dance party at Ogremok mailbox. <laughs> I'm sure he's friendly and nice and doesn't want to fight us. He looks like it. Gives off that impression. Just double checking all his cool face. abilities that he can do. I don't like. Can he, can he have fewer cool abilities, please? Can he shoot those geodes out of his skin at you? <laughs> that would be very cool. Uh, is the... I so, think you should Ogumar, replace Wait, his crystalline that. protrusions flare. Okay, so he has an ability, yes, that totally involves his glowing protrusions. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. do, do, do. Can't wait to get protruded. Yeah, one thing that I would like hearing is less about his glowing protrusions. <laughs> <laughs> They're not contagious, don't worry. And he's gonna stomp right past the dragon who's flying in the air. Uh, and walk right up to you guys. But not quite into the circle. Because he's protrusions. still of the elemental subtype. Yes! <laughs> Pharaoh, I'm buying you so much bread after this. <laughs> <laughs> it better be sourdough. Uh, and let me just go quickly into the GM layer and move this bullet and this elemental because they're confusing. There we go. <laughs> You're going to be rolling in the good. rolls. The ones you banished earlier were in the way. All right. Let me recenter this combat map, and then we will jump ahead. Koros! Oh god, we lost Theo! Pass! <laughs> Give him the blasty blasty. Alright, so you're gonna run out of his range. He is gonna swing down at you. Shit balls. As you do that. Yes, uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage, right. reaching into the portal, so... You were very lucky that he just rolled a two, but... I am extremely lucky. Hold on. How no. many does he have to hit? Oh. He has plus 14 to hit. <laughs> My AC is like 13. Is <laughs> it's right on the stream. Your AC is 13. <laughs> so anything but a 1 will hit you. Uh, wow. Me too, though, Bobby. I'm glad I left. Uh, I'll give you three guesses exactly how much damage one of his punches do. 30. 30. Uh... Just because that would knock you out exactly right now, I'll roll it instead so you can have some chance involved in your fate. Damn it. <laughs> What's this? Do -do -do. Oh boy. More than 30. Well, good night, friends. 
No! Koros is, he, he starts to back up, but he gets knocked out. Pharaoh had healing word prepared. Pharaoh does have healing word prepared, and it is now Pharaoh's turn. But, but, but I did lose consciousness, so the elemental and Bulette that I banished are back. Oh, oh no! Remember that That's time I thought you were useful? It's Shut up! Over. The bulette unfortunately appears directly underneath Ogremok's foot because that's where it just was. <laughs> <laughs> so the bulette appears and it is suddenly impaled. <laughs> My strategy all along. So there it is. It shows up, but then it is impaled by Ogremok's foot. Bam! Dead bulette. Uh, the elemental, on the other hand, uh, was standing right next to him, so he appears right here. It was good try, friends. I mean, it got rid of the bullet, but that's true. It technically, did. technically, you one shot a bullet. <laughs> it's really impressive. It was a slow one shot. Took a couple turns. Yeah, but... it was a delayed action one shot. <laughs> what? More, more of an alley oop, really, like. What the hell Alright, so Chorus, oh, right. you are knocked out. Let me put some sort of status indicator on you. Yo. Crossbones. Rip. Alright, uh, Pharaoh. Alright, well, the spirit guardians are still going strong, so uh, if both of them want to take a wisdom save. Alright, wisdom save's coming out. And wisdom they... save from the little guy is a failure, so how much damage is that? Actually, I'm sorry, never mind. The, uh, the big guy isn't within... 15 feet away. Yeah, his, that, that's, that corner is right there is, is part of him. He's a he's a oh, oh, he is 4 by 4 square, so that corner Shit. right there is 15 feet. Nice. Poke his foot. The dude is very large. Yes, he is. He is uh, you might call him gargantuan. I, I might, in fact. That's not actually a roll. <laughs> oh yeah, just yeah. roll a 3. There you go. Alright, 19 <laughs> on that good. elemental. Bam. That's awesome, Brandon. And half if he uh, if he if he passed. Uh, yeah, it's much better him than yet. Let me roll for him. Uh, what's the DC? Fifteen. I mean, he could choose to pass instead, but I think he'll just he'll fail this one. So All also right, so nineteen takes... damage. Yeah, and then my uh, staff is going to move over to the small elemental and smack me, smack him up. Meanwhile, I am going to, um... and it's probably gonna miss. Uh, is that the staff flew up to the big elemental or the little elemental? The little elemental. All right. Misses either way, but I just wanted to confirm. So, no problem. Um, then I'm going to step down. forward and, and healing word, I'm going to say, uh, what is it? Shit, I, I had it written down. Uh, Nesta! Yep. And, and point at Koros, and he's going to, like, get little dinglies about it, a little wisp. Beep, 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 beep. Um, and just so you know, Bobby, there's no such thing as negative hit points in 5th edition. When you bottom out, you stop at zero. Okay. <laughs> And that's eight hit points to you. That's a, bonus <laughs> that's a bonus action, so I'm also going to twiddle my fingers at him with some sacred flame. The, the small guy, not the big guy. Um, Alright. Do it work, Pharaoh. Which is deck save. <laughs> oh, that's got a big rotation. Wrong one. There's a lot of passive things that happen as long as I have them set up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's going to fail that, so he's going to take that 13 flame damage that explodes across his body. And then Pharaoh is going to uh, raise his shield up in, in anticipation of the large snack, since he's now the uh, the closest squishy target to the big guy. <laughs> so the reasonable part of Lily wishes she had a uh, shield sometimes, but I feel like Theo just would never have one. <laughs> it requires way too much forethought. <laughs> also, that you, you take couldn't use out. your weapons with two hands. Yeah, and I have a lot of two-hand weapons, so whatever. Yep. All right, Theo. Well, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should have had to take a saving throw to not be scared, but I'm truly scared. <laughs> um, and I'm also far. Well, 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 well. I can run to it. It's a terrible plan. There's still the little one alive. Okay. Just so you know. I want to go here then, and uh, hit the little one All right. with the great axe I still have out. Cool. Do I have advantage or no? 
Uh, no. Okay. 12 is not gonna hit. Give me the second Alright, I'll try one more time. 16 also not quite gonna hit. On the little one? On the little one. The little one's 18. Damn. Stone with armor. Okay, uh, well, that's the end of my attack, so I think what I'm gonna do is then step, like, back a little into the circle. Like, my goal is to, like, come over, hit him, and then stay further in so I'm not leaning out at the end of my turn. Alright, so where do you want to... You, the, the leaning out... So the thing about turns is that, you know, life doesn't happen in turns. It all happens simultaneously in a round, so... No, I know. leaning out is you making attacks. Things are happening simultaneously. So you can't just say, at the end of my turn, I lean back. It's basically... Well, I know, but I'm saying I have a little movement left, so I want to pick a spot to be... That's okay, yeah, pick a, pick a spot in the circle. Well, like, I don't know if you'll count this, though. I mean, if the dude moves around, you're not going to be fully in the circle there. Well, I don't think there's anywhere else to really stand, so... Yeah. I guess I could go here. You could. You were close to Ogremok there, but... Well, that's actually fine. And then my last thing I'll do is, um... I will also second wind as my bonus action. Alright. So, I'll roll that. Uh, what level are we? Nine? Okay. Nine. So I'll roll a d10. You can keep going, though. Uh, Aridin... Dragon Lady. No, I was just curious, like, how you how, how, how you healed that much. I second-winded for 8, plus my level. And gotcha. I also did rally on her. Gotcha, okay. No worries. Yeah. So you added 8 and your level to your hit points, though? Yeah, I think so. 8 and 9? 17? Got 17. Yep, did right. do that. Cool. Uh, the Dark Lady is going to turn around, and uh, she's going to take some swipes at Ogremok as she flies past. Do, do, do. She's also going to use her frightful presence, um, but Ogremok is going to choose to succeed instead. Uh, remember, he only has a limited number of those, so if he chooses to succeed enough times, then you guys... Uh, We'll be able to get things through onto him. So let me just write that note down. Alright. Uh, Remember, any stuff cast spells. <laughs> um, Actually, you cast She's then going to swoop past him. Uh, let me bring up the map. Fly by attack. Do some scratches and biting and tail hitting, you know, because that's what a what a dragon does. So we're gonna roll some attacks. Dragons do be like that. <laughs> so let's start with the bite. It is known. That is a natural one. Let's move yeah. on to the claws. <laughs> also a, a natural bite. one. <laughs> wow. Let's go on to the tail. Useless right. dragon. No, that one will hit for sure. <laughs> Dragons suck. <laughs> 15 Always damage against this. I don't remember that other dragon that didn't kill us experiencing this. Uh, it, it, it's performance anxiety, alright guys? Just... Huh. <laughs> it's more common than you think. One in five. <laughs> or one in two dragons. All right, yeah. then uh, Ogremark is going to act out of turn using a legendary action. It's pretty rude Why of him. Why like that, dude? Right? Uh, is he going to belly flop on all four of us? <laughs> no, what he's going to do is he's going to stomp his foot down. Uh, and there's a rumbling and a shaking all around you guys. I need you guys to take dexterity saving throws. Oh, shit. Or strength saving throws, Can't right? Nope, just dexterity. Right? Just yeah. dexterity. Well, mine are the same. Bad. You don't have advantage oh, on this. So. I rolled that with advantage, yeah. I... I'm gonna use the first one of those two. Alright, you all fail. You are all knocked hey, prone. Hey, hey. Wait, I can reroll if okay. I fail. I also can reroll one failed saving throw per long rest. Hey. Alright. Uh, you I'm still rerolling. fail. I'm rerolling! Be quiet! Aaron. Fuck! Theo, you also still fail. Fuck the balls! The no! rumbling shakes. You guys are. What you bitch? <laughs> Serious? Serious. DC twenty three. But I'm plus two and I rolled so well. You're all knocked oh, prone. And now we used up our thing. But yeah. now the dark lady will act out of turn using her legendary action. 
to make it out of the one. one of them. And this, this one is fun, Pronus. actually going to hit. And she eats the stone and thing. And do some hole. more damage as she flies. Ah! Dragon things. Eats a hole? I can't believe we used our indomitable on that. <laughs> I can't either. All right. <laughs> and with that, it's now Aridin's turn. <laughs> Yay! I feel kind of the opposite of indomitable. I feel like dominable. Quite dominable. <laughs> I feel quite submissive right now. <laughs> All right, I want to poke this guy with my spear. All right. He's still in the range of like realistic. I feel like I can actually hurt him. You're poking from the ground. So just so you guys know, the big guy has the same exact like resistances and things as the little guy. So. He's just big. He's just big. Okay. Just letting you know. You can go ahead and try and finish off the little guy. That's fine. I think that's a good goal. Just, okay. I just... I, just I, <laughs> I need a morale boost. <laughs> I need to kill something. Am I... No advantage on this? No advantage. No. Er, awesome. Sorry, yeah, actually, yeah. no, there is, because the spear so is over here now. Or, sorry, the floating staff thing. Right. Okay, I thought so. But Lily didn't get advantage when she did it. She wasn't standing on that side. Oh, she was. Oh, sorry. No, no, sorry. It's got to be through opposite sides of the thing. I'm. You don't have advantage. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. It's got to be through opposite sides of the. It's cool. I'm, I'm. I miss. Yeah, you miss. Make another one. Oh there my you go. God! I hit something. Yay! Thirteen. Go, brother! Damage. Nice. Nice. Someone's doing quite bad. Another good hit or two. You think we finish him off? Uh, however, it is now the big elemental's turn. And thus we all die. Uh, and let me, I'm gonna be right back, I need to grab my spell book. Oh. Lily, he's gonna cast a spell! Lily, Ogremok! <laughs> oh, he is ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Are you within five feet, Lily? I am. You yeah. are indeed. Four by four. He's enormous. Um, when a creature within five feet of you cast a spell, you can use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against that creature. Do it. When you damage a creature that is concentrating on a spell, I'll tell you what happens if it actually hits. Hmm. All right. Uh, sw I meant to say this at the end of last turn, yeah. but whenever I was going to do my thing, I want to switch back to the Warhammer. Warhammer, that's fine. Yeah. I'm just telling you that's not my watch. Does that hit? 20 is exactly the magic number you hit. Really nice. balls. Thank you. Okay, and wait, let me do the damage. Okay, only 9. But the important part is... When you do damage to a creature that's concentrating on a spell, that creature has disadvantage on the saving throw it makes to maintain its concentration. Nice. You have advantage on saving throws against spells cast by creatures within 5 feet of you. All right, so he's going to have to make a concentration check to try and do this, because this is indeed a concentration spell that he was going to do. What? Nice. What? That's what he gets. Mm -hmm. That's what he gets. I just cast spells near me? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! Get out! Get out! No. I, I hate magic you. unless it's on my side. Exactly. <laughs> I think you're going to be talking about it. I don't how fair does anything you feel, but fine. All right, let's see. Here comes the concentration you know how check. Have to pass, but it's whatever. He failed, and he can choose to pass, but he's but not going to on this one. Does he have? Because uh, this one, he would have to continue. He'd have to make more more checks, so uh, it is not going to be advantageous for him to choose to pass this one. So you're going to break this spell. You felt the ground, the earth underneath you, starting to rumble and shake, and then you just swung out at this guy with the warhammer. Uh, for that nine damage. Get on, dude. And, uh, the, the ground settles underneath you, and he, he loses his concentration, and he turns down at you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. Wait, on me? Mm -hmm. Big Papa O is mad. <laughs> but Big I thought Papa we was throwing o. a party. <laughs> Alright. Goros. Um, how to do this? All right. Um, 
First of all, I'm going to try to get even farther from him. <laughs> Good call. And then I am going to cast Everard's Black Tentacles. Nice. In uh, this 20 foot square, I guess. You dragging it out? Yeah. I don't know how to make a permanent mark, but I'm just sort of trying to show it. Oh, uh, there's a there's a draw shape right under this. So it's like the third tool down. Ah, so there it is. Or second tool down. Yeah, not that Draw one. shape. And you just that draw out a rectangle. That's a 10 foot square. Is it? Yeah, it's five feet per square. You're right, isn't it? Also, that uh, color so is let's awful. Make it slightly more visible. And then draw shape. I guess it's that, then. Like, I don't want it in our way. This color is awful. I'm picking a new one. I know. I don't know how to make... I'm trying to change it. There you go. And there you go. That it, works. Like, double that. That's the wrong one. That's the small one. I can't see the Yeah, other. there you go. Basically that. All right. <laughs> is that... Uh, yeah, 20 foot square. All right. Black tentacles. tentacles. Awesome. Tell me what, tell me what I got to roll. Uh, so, nothing right now, but when they start their turn in the square, they have to make a dex save or take 3d6 bludgeoning damage and be restrained. Okay. General and then if they start already restrained, they automatically take damage, and if they're restrained, they can use their action to make a strength or dex check to break out. Uh, are you sure that there's not, it doesn't start the acting of the Black Tentacles when you cast it? Because a lot of spells do that, and then again on the beginning of people's turn. It doesn't say so. It just talks about when they start their turn there. Um, it's not called Black Tentacles, but who's Black Tentacles? Evard's Black Tentacles. E-V-A-R-D. And, and I can't put it in the thing, because I tried to add it, and Roll20 didn't have it. No worries. And they might have just called it Black it Tentacles. most of my spells, but not all. Enters the affected area for the first time, which it, then that would be this the first time. Okay, yeah. If area. you want to count that as right now, turn there. Yeah. Okay. Then they have to make deck saves against an eighteen. All right. All right, little guys, deck save first. Failure. Okay. Roll that damage. Big guys, deck save. He's going to choose to succeed instead. Oh, he might. Fourteen to the little dude. Uh, let's see, let's see. Little dude not looking good. Very small. Lost most of his rock mass. Cracks all over. Tentacles are just grabbing bits of him and yanking yeah, them off. and pulling them back into the earth where they belong. Nice. Get wrecked, dude. <laughs> Alright. Uh, after Koros is Pharaoh. Alright. Spirit uh, Guardians hit both of them. Cool. Some whisper saves. Little guy passes, big guy fails. Uh, passing is, is not half damage, it's zero damage. I don't know why it says half damage. Cool. Um, so and damage to the big guy. And then the uh, staff is going to smack the small guy. 21 hit. Yep. All right. There Eight. you go, that'll finish him off. Pharaoh getting all the last hits this game. <laughs> all, the all that CS. I know, I also have so much money and experience. When do I, when I level up? Um, if you guys survive this battle, <laughs> you will absolutely uh, be leveling up. One more Sacred Flame for good measure on the big guy this time. Alright, you're going to save. <laughs> this is he the fails. best chance. Not be free, yes. 17 damage. Excellent work. Yes. Ticking him down. <laughs> It's only supposed to hit like half the time, I think. It's it's very good. Right? <laughs> All right. All right, Theo. Can I hit him from where I am? Absolutely. I hit him with Warhammer. That'll hit. Fourteen damage. Good. good. Give me the next one. Damn. Also hit. Nine more damage. Excellent okay. job. Chipping away, rocks just flaking off of this guy. I'm going to action surge for an additional two attacks. Let's do it. That one is going to miss, good. but that that's a two. two. You can reroll it. Two. Ha. 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 <laughs> and that'll hit. Roll the damage. Hey. Okay. 
Nice. Okay, and my last one. That will oh. also hit all four attacks hitting nice. for a nice. fuck ton of damage. I was bin. trying to not breathe the whole time Definitely because like, I was like, if I breathe, it'll stop working. Big old chunks of rock just coming off of this guy. Okay. No action surge, no second wind. That was awesome. I feel great, guys. All right. I feel great. And I know he's about to hit my face, but I feel like my face is probably the best target. Dragon Lady's gonna fly around for another pass. <laughs> <laughs> Roll first the bite. That'll not quite hit. Then the claw. That'll hit. Oh my god. Only a margin oh, claw. Of dragon, to be honest. As far as dragons and go. And then the tail. Oh god, a net one again. <laughs> She's no, really struggling one. against this rock. Are you lying? Not lying. You net one on the dragon. It's then going to use its frightful oh, presence to try and scare. Ogremok, and he is going to choose to succeed instead. How many choose to succeed has he used? He has three. He's used three. Hey! Sucks to suck. That guy is lame. Now would be a great time to still have a spell slot for banishment. <laughs> eh. It oh, and you only got two. <laughs> it would indeed. Do you? Is it Ogremok's turn? Uh, no, it is Eridan's turn. turn. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. <laughs> That's actually better. So go take your turn. So, I want to get in between Theo and him. <coughs> Alright. Then I want to hit him a fuck ton. Do it. That's not. That's not going to hit. That's not. Not going to hit. That is. Were you action surging there? Is that the... Yes, I'm action surging. Cool. Sorry. No worries. Alright, that's a hit. Fuck. You just your 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 longsword is just clanging against the rock. It doesn't just doesn't feel like it's the right kind of weapon for hitting a large rock. Now I would like to use evasive footwork, which I'm going to roll a d8. <laughs> you tried though. Oh, oh wait, Alex, hey. you can use your inspiration. No, not for a d8. Why not? Inspiration is for d20s. That's bullshit. Well, and I think you really use for anything you want. Macy is 20 now as long as I keep moving and I'm going to run away. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's literally what inspiration says, is use it on a d20. Yep. That's Hurrah! Stupid. I think it's any ability check, saving throw, or attack roll. But... Oh, you hit him for 50, I hit him for 11, it's fine. Oh, whatever it's die you want to roll. It's the same. Okay. That's the same. Alright, it's big guy's turn again. Oh! Is he going to cast a spell? So he started his turn in it, so he's got to make his dex first. Yep, he's got to make a dexterity Yeah, first first he has to do that, and then he wants to get the spell. Well, let me tell you. He fails. Yes! So he, he is damaged, correct? The tentacles are wrapping around him and holding him down. That's a good roll! Five damage, but he is now held in place by the tentacles. Yes. Hey. So he can use strength or dex as his action to get out. And he can't do any spells with a somatic component. I mean, he also can't move unless he's like strength out. against the against my DC, the DC eighteen. Yeah. All right. He he goes to like lift his legs up. He's, he's trying to do that stomp thing again, and then he looks down and sees these tentacles. He's very slow moving. <laughs> you know, he's pulling against them, uh, and so then he'll then he'll focus all his energy trying to rip some of these tentacles up and lift his legs up. But your tentacles, uh, wait, no, you said DC eighteen. Oh, he just so he lifts his left leg up and then his right leg up and he rips some of the tentacles come flying out of the ground and new ones come out to replace it, but he is he is no longer held in place by the tentacles. Mm. But that's his turn, right? But that's his turn. Well that was his action. He can still move. Sure, but he can't enter the circle still. That's true. This circle's pretty damn good. Yeah. Ever. Okay, Pharaoh, secret MVP of this team. Radiant damage, like nobody's business, and this magic circle. If, and if the I stick. Knew that she was an elemental. I would have, uh, I would have been like a little bit quicker on the draw for that one. <laughs> I would have done that last time. And uh, Koros one shot at a bullet. So I mean, <laughs> our spellcasters are really powerful. Yeah, just so you know, Pharaoh Imix is also an elemental. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, now we, I'm starting to realize that. Oh. I didn't realize that. Is the, you are fighting the cults of elemental <laughs> evil. <laughs> and the ele nodes to the elemental planes. And you do keep fighting dudes made of, like, air and rock. 
I guess these guys are kind of like the kings of the plane or whatever. <laughs> the princes, princes, more like. They're Literally uh, fought Ragnarok. You might call them princes of some sort of end of the world event. I don't know, an apocalypse, perhaps. I, I wouldn't call them that. <laughs> All right, Quaros. Lords of Rapture. Oh, with me? Yeah. Uh, I'm getting the old blasty because I'm basically tapped out with spell. <laughs> I was sort of hoping he'd be restrained, but I'll take it. Eat force damage. He might be next turn. Oh, critical hit. Nice. Dang. And then I'll here eat second force damage. Not so much. Not gonna hit the second one. <laughs> it's okay. First one was great though. Was it was a solid blasty blast. All right, Feral. Okay. I assume your stick uh, is gonna move in. Stick is gonna move in for the kill. All right, stick's floating <laughs> over on it. The stick gets the last, and I'll be so mad. Are we so now fun. flanking with the stick all the time? You are now flanking with the stick. <laughs> 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 All However, stick. that stick hit is not gonna hit. Damn. You're also flanking oh, with the, the dragon. Flanking? Uh, the stick- oh no, sorry, the stick is flanking with the dragon and with Theo, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Stick's still okay, not gonna I realize hit. we're flanking with the dragon. How about the, the, um, the spirit guardians? Does he, does he dodge those? Or, sorry, does he wise those? <laughs> he just wises up. Damn it, okay. That one is, uh... That's incredibly that one... rude. That one is half damage. That one's. Oh no, sorry. Seven. And that's it. Alright. Oh, sorry, it's half kidding. damage. Oh. Okay, yeah. Half damage would be eight on that. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Eight. Math is very hard, especially when it's simple. Agree. It's when it's the hardest. Alright. Theo. Planking with the stick for advantage. <laughs> God damn it! There's two. There's two. You can reroll both of them. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's still funny still though. Still stupid. So, the... Nice. There you go. Eleven right. damage. And then my second attack. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Okay. Do ten damage. You're chipping away at the big old away, rock. Man. Let me uh. Hmm. That's okay. That's okay. I don't. I don't think it would go well if I tried to trip him. I feel like he'd just pass. So. Yeah. Okay. Whose turn is next? Uh, after the dragon lady. is the dragon lady. She's gonna do her standard three attacks. First the bite, nat one. Then the claw. Four. The claw. Four nat, one. four nat ones for the dragon, yeah. Uh, the claw indeed hits. And then the tail attack. Will hit. There we go. We're doing a little better this time. And this time, she actually she swings around this way so she's not shooting at you guys. <laughs> uh, and is gonna use her breath weapon. On the big old dude. Dick. He's got to take a dexterity no. save. He fails. Uh, it is shadow breath. And, uh... Shadow, shadow, shadow breath. There it is. Uh, shadow. Butt ton of damage. Shadow. That much, huh? Yep. A whole lot. It is... 56 damage. The dragon just did 56 damage. Shadow breath, wrapping a it hits the it hits Ogre Market, swirls around and pulls down at him. Bits of rock come crumbling off of him. I feel like it's less bad if the dragon gets the last hit. As long as Pharaoh's stick doesn't get it. You can actually see this a little better. I'm just gonna move it back there. Stick gonna give it to you. Gonna give it to you. Gonna give it to you. Stick gonna give it to you. Sorry. All right, Aridin. So, my evasive footwork was completely fucking useless. Uh, so I'm not gonna bother doing that anymore. Alright. If I go... You can hit the big guy from where you were standing then. From here? Yeah. That that you... corner, you are you are diagonal from him. He is, uh, he is the full 4x4. Four four. His, his token, the foot doesn't quite reach all the way to the square, but that square oh, is part of him. For some reason, my screen on roll 20, he's one block down from where he oh, is on... Oh, let me on... reposition him there. Is that better? 
Yes. That is much okay. clearer, Jake. There All right, go. cool. I'm gonna hit him then. Fuck. Not quite gonna hit. Dang. Fuck. Especially not gonna oh. hit, in fact, oh this my time. Gosh, I feel so bad. I'm really useless today, guys. I'm sorry. Do you have superiority dice? Not to help in this situation. Oh, this you don't time have he's actually gonna see, he, you, you, you go and swing for second one, but his foot's already up in the air and he's coming down for a stomp. And uh, the stomp is gonna come out again. I need dexterity saves from everyone, but he catches your sword in the process. Your sword gets stomped down into the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Also, save. Any of you guys are gonna make a DC 23. I, nat 20s always pass. True. So, I lost my sword? Theo, you can reroll that, because it's a two, can't you? No, that that's only, only my race? weapon. Great weapon fighting. Ah. Only my great weapons. So yeah, Aerodin, your sword Primer. is now under his foot. Hey, Quaros, Remember that sword you have? No, we buried it to hide it, remember? I think you have it still. <laughs> no, I, I have an extra sword, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the magic sword that may have helped in the fight that I gave to you right before it is buried underground. Yeah, I wanted it, but the warlock decided he wanted it, so... It's fine. I'm willing to admit that in retrospect, that was a mistake. <laughs> 20, 20 hindsight. Find things, you shouldn't bury them. So not only did we not get the benefit from it, but we also still stole it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We can have it, we can go dig it up once we're confident we're never going to meet this scary dragon again. What, like she's not going to know? She just did 56 <laughs> damage to someone. You think there's anything she doesn't know? Maybe she'll want to repay us for all we've done. That sounds not right. That sounds like a dragon. <laughs> so, uh, Ogremok begins casting another spell. <gasps> oh, a spell, you say? Well, <laughs> not on Theo's watch. Not on my watch, bitch. All right. I am going to have flanking advantage with the stick. Oh, sorry, it is the beginning of his turn, so he's got to make a dexterity save. Oh, the yeah, tentacles grab first him. do that. That's a failure, so he's grabbed by the tentacles. He can All still right. make cast the spell, though, because the tentacles so are So don't I have, like, feet. double advantage because he has disadvantage from being immobile he and will have advantage from flanking with the stick? You have, he is immobilized, so you do have advantage, and there's some flanking with the dragon and the stick and stuff, so. So I have, like, double advantage, so I just automatically hit, right? It's just regular advantage. Advantage doesn't stack. Shut up. You're literally the worst. Thir Thirteen damage of bludgeoning. Got it. Thirteen damage of bludgeoning, then fourteen damage of bludgeoning, and boop -boop -boop, um, that creature has disadvantage on the saving throw it makes to maintain its concentration. Yep. So let's see if you can make a concentration check. Oh wait, I do have advantage on. S wait, the the dexterity thing wasn't a spell. Never mind. Go ahead. He is not able to maintain his concentration on the spell. Nice. It breaks. Again, you saw that the ground around you is Let starting to like lift up and move, and then it just falls back into dust. He's so bad at casting spells, I don't even understand why this guy's and such a big deal. he used his action to cast his spell, so he is still restrained for this next round, which means you guys have advantage on your attacks against him. Alright. Koros. Alright, I'm going to spend my move to stand back up, and my action is going to be double blasty with advantage. With advantage. With advantage. Eat force. Bam! Nice. Eat force again. No, oh, there's the crit. So many crits. Oh my <laughs> god, you crit like three 17. times this game. Excellent. I know, dude. So did you, Lily. You I'm might. If this, if this twice, rock yeah? had a you got three. had a Weird. circulatory red circulatory fluid inside of him, you might say that he was that kind of fluid in the past tense. With a Y afterwards. With an I in there, yeah. <laughs> Bloody. So, my yes, theory... Yes, Alex. Is that I was clarifying for Lily's confused face. <laughs> no, my theory... You no, I'm thinking about Alex. the crits. My theory is that no. all the twos I normally roll, I give to Alex, and all the fours, Koros normally rolls, he gave to Alex, too. Hey. That's the only Dang. explanation. Thanks, y'all. And apparently I got that one from the dragon. Alright, Pharaoh. Oh, what a bitch, right? So you've got the stick and the guardians, right? We've got the stick. <laughs> you know, with the stick, that'll work! Stick is not right, gonna hit, but the stick has advantage. Oh, stick crit! 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 Stick cr
can't believe it. I'm All right, and going. now the guardian angels, right? He's got to make a save. Guardian angels. Yeah, little lights go in him. DC 15. He fails. So that's another 15, 15 damage. damage. And then, uh, then make a wiggly of fingers. Booga booga booga! Sacred flame. Here comes the save. Natural one. 16 damage. I think that counts as a crit. Give me another die on there because I rolled the nat one. <laughs> Give me another D8. Seven more damage. Yeah. You get a crit. You get a 50 damage turn on a cleric. <laughs> damage up for disease. Meredith is going to get the last hit. You're going to swipe it from the stick. Like, the stick's going to be slow mowing no. to hit the thing, and you're just going to. He's going to have one health left. No, it doesn't Wait specify this. I'm going to miss both times. <laughs> no. <laughs> it doesn't specify this in Spirit Guardians, but I'm going to say that, like, they, they keep on floating back into my staff, then back out, so it's like clear a that I am the source of yeah, exactly. It's clear that I am the source, and also the spiritual staff looks like my staff. Absolutely, but he can't hit you. You're too far inside the circle. He can't reach yeah! you. The circle is OP, by the way. The circle, <laughs> the circle is super is OP, OP against this guy. <laughs> like, we would all have been pancakes by now without the circle. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Theo, it is your turn. Since I'm not a pancake. Attack with advantage. Alright. Sorry, I lost my thing on my sheet. Okay. Bam! That'll hit. Hey. That'll also hit. Okay. All right, moving on. Okay. The dragon lady's turn. She's gonna swoop around. Cast halitosis. Cast halitosis. Uh, she can't do that that often. There's a recharge time. Uh, but Once she is bad breath, always her... bad breath. I feel like that's not reasonable. <laughs> She's going to attempt her fretful presence. Uh, but Ogremok is going to pass. She's then going to do... Wait, did he roll that pass? He did indeed roll that pass. He's out Stop. of legendary resistance. I hate him. Uh, the bite is going to hit for 17 damage. Nice. And the claw is going to hit for 13 the damage. Claw! He actually doing damage now? Just don't get in that one on the tail, and it's the trifecta. Mm, yep. And the tail is gonna hit I for 15 damage. Oh my damage. god. There we go. Now the damage is coming out. This guy literally eats damage for breakfast. We've done so much damage to him. He is, he is quite low at this point. He, you might even say he has uh, roughly the same amount of hit points as Theo. How many hit points do I have? Wait, none of us know how many hit points. Do I, I know. Have. <laughs> I don't even know how and many hit points. Certainly I have. less than Aridin at this point. Okay. Still more than Pharaoh or Koros, though. I, was gonna say, I can I can see if he's my lesser <laughs> hero or equal in no. HP right now. There you go. You know that he is your lesser in HP. Yeah. And Aridin, with that, it's your turn. <sighs> I'm trying to keep low expectations. These two well placed crits could take him out. <laughs> 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 Jake, don't you know my only crits are not ones? Yeah. She took all my luck. Ding! No, wait, hold on. Did, how, where'd you get that long sword? Oh, I don't have that. No, she Whatever. does have it. I, I would use my spear, and my spear is the exact same stats. Cool. No, I don't, no, she does have a long sword. She asked. She was like, "Hey, Koros, remember your sword?" Yeah, and I said, "I have one." And you threw oh, it to her. Please. Yeah. All right, then you didn't do that last attack on your turn because you had to throw it to her. No, it's fine. I'll, I use my spear. I'll all use right. my spear. Should I reroll it as a spear, or should I just keep that because it's the same stats? You could. That's fine. It's the same, yeah. I mean, can I reroll it as a spear, though? I mean, yeah, you're right. You don't have a long sword. You absolutely should roll it as the spear. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, what? That's amazing. Spear damage. <laughs> jab, jab, jab. Bam. Give me another one. Oh, hey, my God. there's the crit. Jabity jab. Shit. You're a crit what master. Are you today. <laughs> it is then his turn. Wait, wait. Math. 34 damage. Wait, he started restrained, right? Yes. So he so automatically he auto takes the damage. That. Bam. He's we still alive. Bam. Right. He's gonna use his strength to boom, again rip the tentacles out of the ground. And now it's Koros' turn. Well, oh, I was gonna say, does he feel like casting his I spell? know how we do it around here. No more advantage. Of course. No more advantage, so I'm gonna use the 16 on the oh, last. Oh, right. Pull it out. Sorry. All right. Whip strength, a melee attack you're against you're all, you're the Wait, are we flanking with the stick? I'm not flanking with the stick. That's bullshit. Shooting. 
Go, but that second one does hit. Of course. Nine damage. He's looking real low. He's cracked. He's falling apart. There's it's rocks the falling off left and right. So mad. It is indeed <laughs> the stick <laughs> turn. One sec. I'm gonna do the the spirit guardians first. You should do the stick, the stick first. You should absolutely do the stick first. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do the stick first. <laughs> stick, you're open. Finish him. Stick with advantage. Not, not with it. Oh yeah, well, the stick is flanking. Yep, there it is. Roll that damage. The stick gets the last hit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that was brutal. Stick I don't know MVP. how you can that away from us. <laughs> the, 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 the other thing is that the stick only had one more round. It was going to disappear after that. This <laughs> is so much worse. And as he, he, he falls to the ground and he's crumbling, and you can see the, the node starts to glow from where it was, and the bits of him are getting sucked back into it, and it's glowing and shaking, and it starts to crumble armor. apart. He doesn't have armor. Yes, he does. He had armor in the picture. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, no, this is the big one. Those were the little ones. Oh. The little ones had armor. Right. This guy just had protrusions. And the entire oh, cavern yeah. starts to rumble and shake, and you see bits of stalag... Are they mites or tights on the top? Tights. Tights? They hang tight. Start they falling tight. to the ground um, and crashing around you. The pillars start to crack. This whole place is coming down. The dragon, the dark lady, she swoops down over you guys and she says, Gather close. She wraps her wings around you guys. She starts to cast a spell. I allow it. And you guys suddenly find yourselves <laughs> above ground. You see oh, my sword. Sacred Stone Monastery sort of crumble. Like this? Yeah, into the ground. Oh, did shit. Wait, Jake, yeah. did I have a reaction to grab my sword? Yes, <laughs> you can grab your sword. Um, his, his bits came away there, and as you can grab it right as the dragon comes over you guys and teleports you guys above. I'm incredibly oh irritated that she didn't use this to get us in there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she could do it once, so... It's a rude. I'll, I'll let it pass. If she had oh, done it to get you in, you guys would have just been crushed. This is the equivalent of, like, that secret back entrance right at the end of the three-hour cave in Skyrim, where you're like, fuck, yeah. why didn't I just come in this way? Yeah. Yep. That's what it felt like. <laughs> um. The one door that's barred in the entire keep. And yeah. as she unfurls her, um... A beautiful wings. Her wings, she s morphs back down into her drow form, and you see that she's holding with... holding a sphere. A very recognizable sphere. Is it a Devastation Orb? It does appear to be a Devastation Orb. A lot of those things running around. I want nothing to do with that. And she says, I yeah, thank you stinky. for your assistance. The node is shut. No more intrusions from the elemental plane of Earth should be disturbing the valley. I have taken you? my price for this. And you, he, she looks at Koros, have taken yours. About that. Wait, wait, wait. We don't know about that, right? No, we do. We saw it happen. I thought I didn't yeah. know about it. I don't think Theo knew. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be like, well, what's my price? <laughs> what do I get? She turns and looks at you and says, you closed the node and you survived and you left with your life. <sighs> I feel let down. What I'm doing here is that as a part of a collective decision-making process, we agreed to take that sword from her and no one was punished for it. Do you say this out loud? That's what's important. Do you no, say that out loud? That. No. Um, out loud, I'm just going to thank her for her mercy. <laughs> and she says, perhaps our paths will cross again. And she turns, she tucks the, the orb away, she turns back into her dragon form, and she flies away. Does she lick her lips after she says, hopefully her paths will cross again? Yeah, probably. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, wow. Well, our prize. I must go, I'm having an old friend for dinner. <laughs> Every time I see her fly away, I'm just like... She was pretty hot in her dro form, so... No, it's not even about that, it's just like, <laughs> she could kill me so easily. There goes my dragon. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. I look towards the sinkhole. And I look towards Aaron and I say, I think you said something about bread. Dude, all the bread. 
All the bread you can ever eat. All the bread ever. In and a month. I, I slap my, you know, the backs of Pharaoh and Koros, and I'm like, and you too. You also definitely deserve bread. Nice. I won't starve this month. I saw how you single-handedly got rid of that bullet. That was incredible. <laughs> it, was, it was genius. How'd you know that? You cast that disappearing, exploding spell, right? It was amazing. Planned, that's all. <laughs> that was amazing. So, bread and beer, which is basically bread all around. <laughs> Uh, what's the nearest town? Belliard. There, there. Do we want to go there? Sword, magic sword. Belliard's got a great bar. It's called the Watchful Night. I just no, but where was the place where Dirk was in trouble? That was way north of Neverwinter. Belliard is a town. Deep? Neverwinter is a big city. Waterdeep is a big city. So we go to Belliard. Yeah, Belliard's a small town nearby. You guys have been there before. We should also like send a raven and let Emerald know where we are. Yes. Uh, what, Pharaoh? My mother is in there still, in Sacred Stone. She went back, remember? Yeah. Mm. So, before we go to Belliard, maybe we check in on her, make sure she's okay. I I'm sure that she got out, but I, I don't know. Maybe she would have Do you to help have this. a way to locate her with. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take a nap and get back to you. How far is Belliard, Jake? Uh, you guys could be there by, by the end of the evening. Should we go there, sleep, and then come back? Sounds pretty reasonable. We could, as I said, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not that worried of, for my mother's safety. I'm only worried if what might happen if she tries to help the others. That's reasonable. Do I still see the bloop bloop bloops up to where the castle in the sky so, was? Yes. The next thing I was gonna say was those rocks are still there holding that up. And in addition, um, there's also formed uh, clouds above and below the the castle in the sky. There's dark clouds above and light clouds like, helping it float above, that were not there before. Be ominous. Uh, I'm gonna say that's a good sign. I'm a positive person. I like to think on the bright side. Are you looking at the silver lining? <laughs> <sighs> uh, and with that, you guys uh, head off to Belliard. Uh, yeah, but we'll get an early start in the morning to come back and check on that. After them. exhuming the magic sword. Yep, you can go dig up the sword, it's nearby. Well, I definitely see you do that, and I'm like, oh my god, for me? I mean, it's useless to me, so yeah, go ahead, you know, it's all yours. Um, Theo? I was gonna about to give it to you, so, for real, actually, I was gonna be like, You know how I, I use one-handed weapons and you don't? Yeah, no, I was literally gonna hand it to you, I swear. I swear. <laughs> you don't wanna offer it to Pharaoh first? Maybe he wants it. I, for my stick. It's all that stick, it's even stick. <laughs> Um, does it have any sweet gems in it, Jake? Pardon? Does the sword have any sweet gems in it? Uh, let me find the description of the sword. I should have left my sword in the pit, that would have been uh, more dramatic. I actually don't remember what the description of the sword is, I have to go find it. It's, yes, it's got a cool gem. Mm. Cool. And what does it do again? It's special Very Chris? clearly magical looking. It is a plus one magical sword. Yeah! Nice. Alright. Uh, um, and if you want Pharaoh to do any more identification kind of magic things, or... Koros probably could as well. Yeah. But plus one means plus one to hit and plus one to damage. Sweet. I can, I can identify. It's like you knew I was Googling it. It's a simple ritual. Won't even expend my... I thought you were going to say... I thought you were going to say it's a simple ritual, Googling. And Alex, I'm sure <laughs> you're looking at in 5th edition, because... I just listened to what you said. Other editions are different. Sword with plus sign rune on blade. <laughs> Did I give away the gemstones? Yeah, you ended up having to feed them to the... Oh, no, no, I, t I marked those off then, okay, because yep. I had more. Alright, so you guys make it to Belliard, uh, you stay at the Watchful Night Inn, you celebrate with some beer, hey. and you get some yeah. beer and bread, you get some rooms, and you have a nice, long, nice night's long rest. What happens in rest for healing? Full hit points, everything back. It's a fresh new day. What about dice? Uh, everything to full. Oh. Everything to Ooh. full on a long rest. And in addition, level up to 10. Congrats, everybody. All right. We'll start next week as level 10. Um, with that, we'll wrap up for the night because it is 9 o'clock. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please comment on the video. Mes message the Jetsum Academy page. Let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see in the future. 
Um, my players, please, tonight, uh, some of you didn't last week, uh, I... message me uh, tonight or tomorrow morning with your rose thorn bud, thing you liked, thing you didn't like, thing you are looking forward to. Um, with that, we will end the stream and see you guys next week. Uh, we might have some schedule changes next week. I think we'll be, might be moving to Thursday. I will post on the page once that is for sure. Uh, so we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye now. Bye, everyone. Adios.